Hello, I'm Ellie Miriam, the Closet Quilter. And today I wanna to show you my new setup. Over the head camera uh, setup. What I used was a C-stand. These are typically used when uh, movie makers need lighting or photographers. It's called the C-stand. You can get this on Amazon. It's really heavy. It's all metal. It's got a counterweight on the end. And these are connectors. Really heavy, it spins. So I can get a good look. I can go way up or way down. And the connection up here, the holder for the iPhone was separate. I got that on Amazon also. Um, it just screws into the back, or the back of the um, holder, screws into the end of the boom arm. The boom arm has two different size threads. It's got a smaller one, which I'm using now, and then a larger one on this end. Short, larger one. I think it's quarter inch and three eighths, whatever. Um... So that is how I'm getting these over the head views, basically something like this. So you can see, and I find the sweet spot is in between here. You can see exactly what's going on. So um, I hope you like my new setup. It's all from the C-stand point of view. And this arm, as you can see, will extend even more, probably out to here, up directly above, if I ever needed to do that, for whatever reason. Um, so, as we've as shown you before, is what we've done here, is we went ahead and did our guideline, the, uh, 45 degree angle on the corner. This goes directly to the corner. This is a guideline. So my next lines will be based upon that line. I can use my ruler and I measured out another line all the way to the edge, which is straight because my tension is so good on here. It's flat as you can see. Look at this just like the long armors have. Nice, flat tension. And how does that happen? I can get even more. There, flat by using my side clamps. Well, I hope this helps you in your uh, quilting cross hatching on borders. Thanks for watching the closet quilter and have a great quilting day.